All right, guys, in this video, I want to talk about how we can use a different Python package to work with GPS data. Uh, I'm following this guide here, um, and they, they're they actually using a GPS. It's called GPS. That's what the module is called. So um, at the end of this file, they have a script we can look at. So here it is, reading GPS data with Python code. So let's just take a look at this. And we want this library. So let me download this. All right, and if we take a look at the library GPS, we see it's a pretty simple script, not too complicated, but there's this GPS module that we're importing. Um, so I don't think we have that on our Raspberry Pi. So if I just type Python 3 and try to import GPS, it's not gonna work. Or from GPS import all, it's not gonna work. So we need to use pip to install this. And I believe this is only going to work if we have GPSD already installed. I could be wrong though, but um, so let's try pip3 install GPS. Okay. So now if we go to Python 3 import GPS, there we go. We can see that it's working. And I'm just going to try, let's just copy this file over to our Pi, just like we did with the other one using SCP. And let's just try running this because I don't see anything in here that's too specific that, that would break on our Pi. Um, so let's try this. So let's do SCP, copy this, and it's Pi at 192.168 colon forward slash home slash pi slash library gps dot pi this is the raspberry pi's password so raspberry home slash pi did something wrong here Oh, it's probably, we probably need to put quotes around this because you see there's, there's spaces in this path, like right here. So it, it's getting confused, I think. Okay. So that looks like it worked. So let me go back to the Raspberry Pi and let's print all of our files and now we have library uh, GPS so you can just take a look looks looks good looks just like ours so we should just be able to to run this so Python 3 library gps.py invalid syntax okay so you can see we're using Python 3 but we don't have the uh, the braces the uh, parentheses around the print statements so GPS or library. So let's just add the print statements, the uh, parentheses here. All right, so there's three occurrences of this. So. All right, that looks good. So control X, Y, clear. I'm just gonna rerun the, the, the same thing I did earlier. So application started and there we go. It's starting to log data. Um, so this is cool, but it's it's not much different than what the, the C GPS was doing for us. So if you remember, I'm actually not sure if we can run both these at the same time. Let's find out. Yeah, it looks like uh, we can run both at the same time. But the C GPS program that came with um, the GPSD clients is kind of already doing this, but this is just a way to do it in Python. And it's, it's a way to get at your data. So this is um, the extent I've worked with this library. I haven't played with it much more, but 
Uh, yeah, they're both powerful ways. It just really depends what you're trying to do. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to share. Uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.